to my channel I hope you all are doing well happy Def Leppard Saturday but today's Def Leppard Saturday is kind of special has anyone figured out why why we're doing a throwback Def Leppard Saturday what is the significance of today did anyone guess I haven't seen really anything in the comment section by the way I know I haven't been really commenting back to a lot of you hi Harley do you want to come up, baby? Come on. Come on. She's going to sit there and just wait. Come on, baby. There she is. So, did you guess, Harley? What is the significance of today? Are you guys ready? <laughs> Harley! You're messing with them. Okay. Uh, so I haven't been responding because there's been um, just a lot of comments. But I do want to let you guys know that I have been reading them. It's just I haven't been responding. So what's the significance of today? Do you know? Yes, you do. It is Steve Clark's birthday today. That's why today is a throwback. And... We are doing just a Steve filled video. So we're going to check out two songs that are just Steve inspired. We are going to do two live videos. One is of Switch 625. The other one is Too Late for Love. I hope you guys are ready. I know I am. I haven't seen either of these two videos. I was recommended Too Late for Love and I looked up Switch 625 simply because that is Steve. So that's why I chose these two. Let's just jump straight into it. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications of when I upload, and let's <laughs> let's get straight into seeing some Steve Clark. Okay guys, the first one out of the two we are going to watch is Switch 625. This is live from France in 1983, the Pyromania Tour. I will be linking both of these videos in the description box down below. But, you guys, I'm going to take the chance in uploading with the videos in our video. So they will be on screen. I'm hoping these won't be copyrighted simply because they are live performances. So this will be the only time you will see a video on screen from me. I'm taking that chance for Steve Clark. So let's jump straight into it. Switch 675. Let's do it. Here we go. Hello, come on, let's see ya.
Good God. I mean, seriously, that man is so cool and incredible that oh, just the way he plays. And you can see the difference between Steve and Phil. Like, Phil does, like, he's so much more expressive. And Steve just stands there and just oozes. And he's infectious. And then you got Rick Allen, the Thunder God, just nailing it out on the drums. I love that. And then Steve just sitting there with the cigarette in his mouth, just puffing away. Like, he didn't even didn't phase him it was just simple like a breeze to him it wasn't challenging he didn't give a crap it's just something came so naturally to him that's what it looked like and it was beautiful that man oh seals my heart every time it makes me so happy makes me sad though that uh we don't have him now you know Let's move on over to Too Late for Love, which Too Late for Love, I do, if I remember right, believe he was one of the writers on. Right? I remember it. All right. This one is from In the Round in Your Face, Hysteria Tour 1988 in Denver. I will also link this in the description box down below, but uh, here we go.
love that oh my god that was electrifying every one on that stage just played their part so smooth first of all um joe elliott was boss on stage he was just so demanding in his vocals his stage presence i loved it and then you got sav in his sex appeal he just knows how to work the stage just like steve clark i mean just being so cool in what he does he just owns and oozes confidence even though he's very shy person when he is on stage he's just the complete opposite the moves he was doing i'm just like I love it. It's so cool. Like, he outshines to me, like, Phil and everyone. It, everything he did. I just loved it. And then you got Rick Allen, Thunder God, on the skins, just doing his thing. Never go wrong. He's, his journey's incredible. His story's incredible. He was still nailing it out. And then Phil, um, was incredible i think he actually looked really cool in this one um you guys i haven't seen all of the videos from this concert so i've seen a few of them i i gotta work on that but i loved it this seems like one hell of a concert they did that this was incredible i loved it i love steve steve's just everything steve would be like 62 now today i just wish he had the knowledge we have nowadays you know because could you imagine the world what things would have been like if steve lived i think about that all the time he's infectious i love that man so i had to do of course a dedicated video for him on his birthday there is one last thing I need to talk about and it is not the elephant in the room that I'm changed and it's later in the day. I had to run and do some errands. But it's that you may have saw the poll yesterday about bringing Def Leppard Saturdays to an end. It has been on my mind lately because it was brought to my attention some things about Def Leppard Saturday. I'm not going to get into it, but yes, this is the last Def Leppard Saturday. And when I say that, I mean as a series. It don't mean you guys can't leave comments and have me react to other Def Leppard songs that we haven't covered yet. I'm just talking about going through the albums one by one. So if there's songs you want me to react to off of the albums we haven't done, please tell me and I would be so happy to bring back Def Leppard Saturday here and there but as a series it is coming to an end and it ends today i thought it a perfect day to end it on steve clark's birthday as a throwback video looking back on some of the songs that were incredible switch 625 too late for love i know there's probably other songs that i could have done that were so much better but it is steve clark's birthday at the end of the day so i had to do more steve oriented songs but i mean looking at the live videos they just shined who def leppard was or is because viv does an incredible job now making Def Leppard still who they are, even though Steve isn't there, because you still feel Steve on that stage, and I think that's because of Phil. I wanted to end it here today because of Steve, and I hope that makes sense. It's just the appropriate day. So, who's the next band we are going to take a look at? I'm glad you asked. Skid Row. That's who we're going to look at next. We are not going to do every album any longer like we did with Def Leppard. We're gonna do like an album or two and then we're going to change and look at another band and do an album or two, maybe three, depending on what you guys want me to do. But we're not doing full catalogs anymore. We're just going to do a couple of albums. And we're gonna start with Skid Row. So next week, we're starting with their first album. Hope you guys are excited and understand why I'm doing this. Let me know your guys' opinions. I'd love to hear it. No matter what your opinions are, I will understand them. But that is it. 
thank you guys so much for watching. Tomorrow you guys have Cinderella. I think there's one more thing I need to say, and that's happy birthday, Steve Clark. I love you guys. Stay safe and well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.